Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden and welcome to today's Captain's Blog. It is Wednesday, July 6th, 1444 hours, 2011. And Red is painting. Hi. Tell them what you got going on. We're painting the ceiling, so Dylan's pushing me around on this silver cart trying to not kill me. This is, this is quite the safe, totally stable system you got going on there. We got it a hard hat, but don't wear it. It fell off! Oh, the yeah, you the totally need a hard hat. That'll, that... I already got one concussion. <laughs> it's it's the nose, really. That it's. <laughs> no. Have you been like doing lines or something? A or? paint. Okay. You're worse. Whenever you paint, you get worse. I am. I'm. Yeah, I'm worse. All right. <laughs> so we're doing a lobby. Yep. We're getting this sorted out. It's looking really good. It's worlds better. So much better than the green and and the the maroon, and yeah, and I see the dog is supervising. <laughs> And stocking the paint sprayer. <laughs> so cool. All right, I'm gonna show people what's going on. All right, you have fun. So what you doing? Kind of chiseling floors now. We paint's gone, but there's still more. <laughs> this is the floor from hell. <laughs> We're on day five now, I think. It never ends. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we're on day five. Day five. And, uh, and we're chipping concrete. Yeah. This well, it's, it's concrete patch. Something. Yeah. It's some kind of sealer for this that didn't stay in the crack, but it's like here to the friggin' flat part. Yep, and it, it just left a big nasty crack. So we're gonna redo it with the, uh, the Rust-Oleum stuff, the epoxy shield. Awesome. And then, and then we'll put the proper epoxy down, but well, we before probably, we can, we gotta get this off. Do we have to go around the, we probably should have to go around these pillars as well? Yeah, we're gonna go around the pillars and watch out for the giant spider. Giant spider. There's a big spider in that pillar. Uh, yeah, on this side, this side. Okay, we only have really one deadly spider in Michigan. Yeah, but he's in that crack. A deadly spider? Oh, he's in this. Yeah, he, 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 I, I was just messing around with him and he, was, and like, he jumped out and he had like a switchblade and he was like, dude, I cut you, mate. And I was like, <laughs> alright, man. And, and I told him, you know, if he stays in the crack, we cool, he comes out, I'm gonna whack him. So, so either way, you're gonna kill it. Yeah, you're gonna pour epoxy over it. That's not my problem. Because <laughs> I'm not gonna do it today. And I told him, I was like, you know, we're, we're gonna be doing epoxy here in a couple days, so you might wanna, like, you know. Serve notice. Yeah, yeah. I, I gave him notice by the book, Put so he's cool. Sticker. Yeah, a little, little, little eviction notice. Yeah, yeah totally. <laughs> we're nice like that. I'm doing my part for the environment. So, are you having fun? <laughs> <laughs> I would prefer to pressure wash any day over this. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Well pressure washing is nice and cool and yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. You could have it worse. Yeah. You, you could have it worse. You you could be Suprasi right now. Who's painting? He's a he's down brush. inside the little yeah, he's down oh, no he's got a roller now. But he's oh, down oh, he's in got, he's in the little it. hole. Do, 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 do. Oh man, it's 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 not fun. So it's a whole day of like tedious, just horrible jobs. But the good side is, you know, we're over half done with this. It's just this little swath. We bang it out, we're done, and then we're on to acid etching. And this so, floor is done, we're going to have to get like, some ice cream to commemorate. There will be ice cream. When the floor is done, we'll get ice cream. I will do that. Buckets. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is America. Everything's bigger. So, you know. <laughs> Batman! Hi. It's dark! Yeah. <laughs> what you doing? Cleaning up the mess that uh, was the tool room. Yeah. It's oh, I come in this morning off uh, hangover recovery day from the fourth, and my ceiling's gone. Well, Your ceiling's gone. Most of my ceiling was gone this morning, and my lights were kind of hanging jank. And I go to open my broom closet, and oh boy, small and Batman said, along with Red. Red, oh my God. poor Red's already had like eight concussions from this building. Just <laughs> add another one. It's better though. It's better, I got all the metal out. Conduit looks kind of jank, but uh, yeah. it's, it's progress. It's progress, I'm just about I'm getting all the little metal bits off the floor and I can okay. shop that. So that's what the carpet should look like. Uh, it's luxurious. Yeah, all right. and this is what it's currently looking like. It gets better, Yeah. slowly, day by day. 
Yeah. You having fun? Noodles. Hey, Red. I can taste the air in here. It's. <laughs> Are you having fun? Yeah. Look at this. It's so much better. But hey, I like white boogers. Blue boogers are the best ones. They taste like candy. I'm sure they do. They do. So, Siprasu, you're in the hole. Indeed I am. You're, you're painting lower mechanical. It feels great. Are you having fun? Yeah. Let's, let's show them the size of your workspace down here. It's this little tiny mechanical room under the stairs, and it's... It's a compact environment. <laughs> Confined space, you might say. It's, <laughs> but it, it looks better. Yeah. It's, and we're getting, you know, this is really, the, the paint in here is pretty much for dust control. Because mm -hmm. it was so nasty. This room is actually filled with sand. We pulled 56 five-gallon buckets of sand out of here, and, and this is what we have left. And now we're, we're painting over the bare concrete, and we just, we had some junk paint that we used down here, just some of the old gray paint. Um, this paint behind me is actually from 2006. We used it in the machine shop, the Heavy Industries Lab. So that's that's the leftover paint. We had like half a bucket left, and it's a little tiny room, so we figured to rock out. And it's since it's bare cinder block, it just totally wicks right into the wall, and you got to go through a lot of paint to do a little tiny area. So we're just using it as primer. It'll be white when we're done. So it's happening though, and this is lower mechanical. It's a, a wet wall area and uh, it feeds the lower bathrooms so we're just getting it squared away and nice and clean and it's part of the continuing building beautification project and since you're short this is your project so very cool <laughs> <laughs> hey get a few office chairs in here computer the internet oh power. yeah totally it'll be great it's totally totally cool place to hang out yeah, well, yeah we're, sure we're gonna put a water heater down here that's that's the thing so <laughs> all right you have fun carry on sir and i will later. see you later bye 1843 hours and we're trying an experiment. We've got Thumper hooked up with a pair of test leads and you can see the test leads are uh, mounted on the thing there. They go down here to a spring. We have a spring. We tried a low voltage blast. You can see the burn mark. We're going to try it at full power and cooler than the spring exploding. We're going to see if the spring explodes first or if the leads rip apart. Because the leads, because the electromagnetic force should move. So this will be neat to see. Here we go. That's pretty cool. All right, check it out. The, uh, it's hard to hear over the compressor, but there's our explosion site, and there's the table. <laughs> Have fun! Thank you, gentlemen. You're welcome. You pretty. You awful pretty. <laughs> you won't actually lick you. Oh, you <laughs> that make it <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, you, you didn't. You didn't it's think a that was family show. <laughs> that, you didn't think that was weird when I shaved the chops. You just <laughs> family show. Yeah. Speaking of which, you, you got to stand a little closer to your razor tomorrow. You're starting to get creepy. Yeah. I gotta. I gotta be able to afford it's razors. The next beard. Thing. I'll. Yeah. I'll. Man, I'll fix you up. Give me five minutes with a Zippo. <laughs> make it smooth. I don't want to do that again. <laughs> Time is 2034 hours and look at that. That's just radical improvement. Brad! Okay. What you doing? Pulling out stuff out of the seat. Yeah? Are you having fun? This is drywall. You're pulling all the little yeah. little bits where the anchors yeah, like went through. This one. Let's see. Yeah. You're bigger than ten men, Brad. Yeah. Bigger than 10 minutes. You having fun? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Having so much fun, Chris. I got cool. paint on my hair. <laughs> it was really only a matter of time. Where'd Nikki go? Nikki! What? Do you know you've never been in a captain's vlog? Yes. So you gotta say hi. Hi. You gotta tell everybody who you are and what you do. I'm Nikki and I'm 
taping up windows. You're masking. Masking, yes. yes. You masking. are that masked woman. Yes. Okay, cool. That's Nikki. She's pretty cool. <laughs> we like her. <laughs> oh, what else did we accomplish today? Here. Steve! What, what you working on? Huh? Hiding in the plastic. You're hiding in the plastic? Hiding in the plastic. Not very effectively, Steve. <laughs> you have a rather distinct profile. <laughs> what you working on? I'm holding the plastic here so Red could get through. Oh, okay. I was going to show him the transformer. Oh, yes, the transformer. Oh, plural, I suppose. Yes, yes. So, there's this cool guy who I'm pretty sure is a little bit English, named Photonic Induction. And he's got some pretty, pretty gnarly transformers. And I just wanted to take a minute and give a shout out to him because he's a pretty awesome guy. He's crazy as shit house rat, but he's a cool guy. And I just wanted to say that he's not the only one with, with a few transformers. We've got, you know, we do all right. We got these set up here. And uh, this is, well, we, we cleaned. We made a clean spot. And because everybody wants me to, every time I walk by it, I get comments and emails are like, Hit the button, hit the button. Okay, you ready? I hit the button. See, and that's kind of cool because you never get to actually hear them get that low in real life because they're always, you know, 50 foot up a pole. So there you go. And we've got scrap pile going out for tomorrow. And what else did we do today, Steve? Uh, oh, we got the uh, machines leveled. Yes. Yeah, that's cool. Check it out. Ooh, ooh, I can show you something neat. Watch this. You gotta wait a minute, you gotta be patient. It's got a boot, it's pretty quick. It's doing a lot of stuff. Very high tech machine here. This is our TL1. And now it's booted, okay. Now, uh, clear out the codes, take the E stop off, servos off, okay. Now, look here, you ready? This is something that this lathe has never before done. It pees! Yay! Lathe pee! And it's spitting on me. So, yes, here, we'll, we'll close the guard. But, uh, for the first time, we have the coolant pump working. We got it all hooked up, we got it mixed, and it spits quite a bit. But you can see it, it, it the coolant works. It goes down, it flows out the bottom here, of the little trough, and you can see way up there, that's where it's hitting. Comes down trough, goes into the sump, Gets filtered out in the screen, and then the pump sends it back up. So, there you have it. So, we are days away from being in production to uh, make these work. And we're going, well, we're, they work. They're all leveled, they're set up, everything's cool. We got the fourth axis is back on. Okay, we got the vice trimmed and the fourth axis in, and they're all like totally ready to go. So, now. This poor bastard Great. is tasked with the fun job of setting up all the lights and cameras and all that jazz because we are about to make 500 videos specifically on hot stuff. We've been working on this for years. We've got them written, we've got them scripted, we've got stuff all together. The problem was the old building, right when we were ready to start production, we shut everything down and started the process of moving to Grand Rapids. So now, First thing, we're in a new building, we're back in production on Haas videos, so we're making 500 Haas videos. And if you watch every video, you will learn every single thing there is to know about operating each one of these machines. We're gonna do 100 videos there, 100 videos here, and 100 videos there, and then 200 videos on just other things of like, I just got my fourth axis, how do I install it? Or, you know, things like that. Just all kinds of stuff. You will be a Haas freaking genius if you watch all 500 episodes. And I know there are people out there who will. They'll also be available on DVD and all kinds of other stuff like that to do fundraising for the Geek Group. So, 
it's a thing, it started. He's getting set up on the lights. Yes. And that's the next big thing. So yeah, that's the big thing. You guys have fun, I'm Chris, and donate, get involved, help out, you know the spiel. It's thegeekgroup.org, be a part of history. It's awesome, I'll see you guys tomorrow. That's today's Captain's Blog, and I'll see you next time.